Hi there, I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I'm a soul sculptor, a coach, a healer, and a channel. And one of the things that has come up for many people is loneliness. We are in strange times right now. You may not be able to work with your regular team at the office. You may have to work from home. You may be single and not able to date because of the circumstances that surround you. Um, you, may, you may find yourself lonely even in a relationship. So where does loneliness come from and what can you do to combat it forever? Well, <laughs> Back in 2012, that's what I did. I didn't realize that's what I was doing, but I'll tell you how I got there. It was daily meditation. Not only daily, but every chance I got, I meditated. I had a friend in Georgia and we meditated together remotely. So we would text one another, how about do you have 20 minutes to meditate? So if you have a buddy that you could meditate with, that would help you stay on track and meditate more often. Now, what can meditation do for you? <laughs> well, the loneliness that we feel is feeling that we're separate, feeling that we're separate from one another, that we're separate from God, that we're separate from our high self, that we're separate from the truth. But here's the thing, the more that we go inside, the less lonely we feel, the more confident we feel, the better our intuition becomes. So going inside and meditating from a place of, uh, let me just let these thoughts go, and we're in our hearts, and it could be I love me, going inside, I love me, could be thank you for me, thank you for my life, whatever it is your mantra is, could be OM. But the more that you turn inward, the more connected you feel to yourself and to everyone else out there. Not only everyone, but nature and animals. And you're gonna find meditation when done <laughs> correctly. Now, let me just tell you, what I used to do, I thought meditation meant I should go out, out of my body, you know, up and out of my body. And when I did that, I wasn't grounded and I became more flaky. <laughs> so meditation, uh, the focus is in your heart, going inside, you kind of drop inside and just being present with you. You can take a mind escalator down from the brain down into your heart and don't worry about the thoughts. Let your mantra carry you. So you're breathing in. You can you can do this too. This is this is a monk tri trick. When you close your eyes, you turn your eyelids or eyeballs up towards the ceiling. So if you could look up at the ceiling now and then and hold that for a few moments, you're gonna find it quiets the mind. Just stretching your eyes, looking up at the ceiling, and then close your eyes with your eyes still turned up. So your eyelids are closed, but your eyeballs are turned up towards the ceiling, and that tends to quiet the mind. And then you're going to be breathing, breathing nicely, slowly from the lower abdomen, breathing in, Exhaling, closing your eyes, breathing in, and being in your heart. Just think of the word appreciation. Appreciate yourself, appreciate your body, appreciate what you have around you. Just focusing on appreciation and feeling that word, the feeling of the word. So the more that we focus on feeling something, the more it shifts us inwardly. And so we have a story that we tell ourselves, you know, that, oh, I'm alone, I'm lonely. Um, and here's the truth. We can be lonely 
by ourselves, but we could be lonely in a crowd. If you've ever been in a relationship and felt disconnected and lonely, you see it's possible. So the, the truth here is that the more connected with us we become, the more we turn inward, the more grounded in our physical body that we become, the more frequently that we meditate, all of these things layer on top of one another, the deep breathing, being grounded in our bodies, meditating on a regular basis. All of these things will help you to feel connected to the universe, to God, the sun, the moon, the stars, and everyone around. Because think of how many people meditate in any given moment. I'm sure there are more than thousands. So you're meditating with others as well. So loneliness comes from a disconnection from ourself. It has nothing to do with anyone else when we are whole and complete. And so that's the goal, right? To feel whole and complete, turning our thoughts and our attention inward towards our heart, feeling appreciation, breathing. You can do that mantra, I love me, I love me. So desertion of the self is what causes loneliness. We abandon ourselves. And so when we love ourselves, when we're connected to ourselves, when we're grateful for our bodies, when we turn our attention inward as opposed to outward, quieting the mind, getting grounded in our bodies, you're going to find the loneliness disappears. It did for me back in 2012. And since that time, I haven't had any loneliness. I will say though, there has been an occasion where I let my mind wander. My kids were all busy. I was visiting here from California and I was thinking, oh, you know, I'm all alone. Now, if I was in California all alone, I'd probably be at the beach having a blast. So what are you telling yourself? What story are you telling yourself? Nobody loves me. Nobody wants to be with me. I can't have any friends. Those types of thoughts are going to take you into a downward spiral. And so we want to move that spiral upward and instead we're going to focus on the positive. The universe loves me. The universe supports me. I love me. I'm grateful to be alive. The sun loves me. The stars love me. I'm connected to this earth. I am part of the union, the unity of people on this earth. So the more that we say those types of things to ourselves, the more connected that we begin to feel. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I hope that you enjoyed this. I have a free download on my website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com, and I have a product on my website that helps to eliminate depression, anxiety, and you can take my quiz on my website. Again, jenniferelizabethmasters.com. Thank you so much for watching. Sending you lots of love.